All too often, drops are made uh, at too high a coverage level, uh, going too fast, and dropping from too low an altitude. And the, uh, the, the effect is that you're, you're basically pounding the fire rather than putting the water on top of it to, uh, to extinguish it. But we're trying to get them to see uh, what the proper altitude and airspeed would be to, to, uh, to gain that, that perfect drop pattern where you want the water to rain down on top of the target rather than hit it at an angle with a lot of forward velocity. And we have a target set out over here, uh, which is a car. Uh, and to demonstrate the, the, uh, the force and the, the destructive capability of, of dropping water at too high a coverage level. Hey, beautiful. Away from the office. What could possibly go wrong? Each tank load will be, uh, uh, oh, probably somewhere between 1,500, 1,800 gallons uh, of water. Uh, the coverage level two should be uh, just a, a light mist coming down. And coverage level four uh, will be uh, uh, a little higher. Uh, you'll start seeing it lay the grass down. And coverage level six uh, should be a, a pretty thick wall of water coming down. Coverage level eight uh, will be an awful lot of water coming down. And a salvo load where the doors will open uh, immediately and uh, evacuate the tank almost instantaneously. At the very least, it'll, it'll uh, crush the top of the car. It'll flatten it, uh, certainly break the windows out and uh, probably uh, bring the roof down to the top of the seats. What level, what coverage level was that? It was a salvo. It was a salvo. <laughs> Holy cow. Even in park, it just slid on the ground. Man. Just to uh, really drive home that point that uh, if they're not careful, uh, they can do a lot of damage. Uh, out on the fire line, uh, where you have a lot of uh, Oh, taller foliage, you know, trees and whatnot. This water has the uh, capability of, of stripping branches and, you know, large branches out of the tops of the trees, which is what can really cause uh, injury and, and uh, damage to people on the ground.